Hi ladies, it's Beth from Be Styled and it's time for Tipsy Tuesday. Welcome. Um, hoping that my internet, I've got three bars. The last couple last week, couple weeks I've had issues with my Wi-Fi. So hopefully we're we're good. Um, today's Tipsy Tuesday, um, I'm talking about, or it was prompted by a reel, I think it was a reel on Instagram that I saw last week that I shared with my group and it, it created a lot of um, great conversation. But basically it was a reel from a, a influencer, stylist, I think she's a stylist, I don't know, um, that I follow and that I, I really like her style. But she made a very bold blanket statement that uh, I think people probably took her too literally, but she was being pretty, she's being pretty bold. She basically said, what should you do with your pattern clothes? And she took a trash can and she threw it all in the trash can or in like a giveaway bag. Basically, she was saying that pattern clothes dates you, makes you look, you know, out of style, dated, frumpy, all those things that, you know, we're trying to avoid. And I was like, pattern clothes? <laughs> what? I mean, and I've always said that I am personally a solids girl. Um, by nature, my mother was a solids girl. I think you kind of fall into one or two camps, but I'm by no means anti-print. In fact, I went into my closet and right here, I pulled out some favorite pieces. A lot of them I've had for a long time. I'm linking some similar in the, in the link above. Um, but I have a lot, I have a lot of print and I wear print. And in my style system program, every season, there is a category for pattern print tops almost every season since I've been doing this, including this year. Now I know that solids and neutrals are having a moment. Um, it's, they're very, very popular with, you know, the millennials and, and Gen Z. Uh, if you, if you Google, you know, capsule wardrobe and you follow, or you follow people who provide or sell capsule wardrobes, a lot of times they're very neutral. Like you go through the pictures and I love the looks, but I'm sort of like, wow, I would, be so bored if I dress like this every day. You know, it's all, you know, denim and black and white and tan. And maybe there's a stripe. Um, maybe there's chambray. A lot of basically my, what I call my essentials, but that's it. You know, that's, and, and maybe they have a scarf or a bag that's got some color. But for the most part, a lot of these, these younger, I would say younger women definitely are, 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 are very focused on neutrals and solids. And you don't see them wearing a lot of prints. It's a style aesthetic though. It's not for everyone. And I would by no means ever tell anyone who loves prints, oh no, you shouldn't wear prints. They're out of style. I just think that's that's like malpractice as a stylist. Um, and I do think there are ways to wear prints in a way that make you look modern and current. Um, and if you're listening to me and you follow me or you're, you buy my program, that's what you're looking for is that kind of information. So, you know, Everyone always prefaces whatever they're going to say by saying, wear what you want to wear, wear what makes you happy. And of course, that's the answer. But if you're looking for information and you're looking for advice, sometimes you want people to say, do what you want to do, but here are some, you know, bumpers, right? <laughs> or some guidelines, um, because that, that's, so, that's sort of what I do, right? Um, so for, for prints and patterns, what I like and what I, I look through every, all of my all my prints and patterns, I'm gonna go through them. The, some things that they have in common. First of all, they are in the colors that I love. So you, you have to pick the colors that you love and that, are, that are, make you happy and that flatter your skin tone. Um, I also notice, and I think this is a, don't take this as gospel, don't take this as a rule, but I've noticed with mine, almost all my prints with some exceptions have two, co are like two colors, maybe three. And when I look at the print, it reads one predominant color. I think that's a great rule of thumb when you're looking at a print. Does it read a color or does it read five different colors, which can get very busy. Um, but again, if you love that, if you love vibrant, you know, multi multi-colored patterns, that's great. But if you're, if you're putting your, dipping your feet in the water and you're not sure and you're trying to figure this out, that's one thing that you can do is look for prints that have one or two colors. It doesn't mean they're going to be boring. And I'm not talking about black and white stripe. I don't have, I didn't bring out any black and white stripes. I didn't bring out any stripes because those are what I call a neutral print. Those are prints that, yes, as the lady in the, in, in the reel said, you'll see, you know, Jackie Onassis wearing a, a boat neck navy or black and white stripe. 
Never going to go out of style. Yes, I think it's a good thing to have. No, that's not the only print you can wear, though, if you like prints, okay? Um, but, so so color. Pick the colors you like. Here, Here's an example of what I would call a neutral print in a pink. It's basically just pink with like a little bit of cream and you can see there's a pattern in there. So if you if you prefer solids, you might like to have a top like this that gives you a, gives a little bit of interest because what prints do, patterns do, is they do add some interest to your outfit. You don't have to wear them every day. You don't have to wear them all the time, but they're a nice thing to have and you don't need a ton of them. So I, I recommend making them ones that you love. And if you have a closet full of prints and you, you constantly bypass them and say, no, I don't like it, no, I don't like it, those you can weed out. If you're not wearing them and you look at them and you think, I don't really like that pattern, then put it in, have a basket in your closet and throw them in there. And if you don't miss it, give it away, okay? But here's an example of a neutral print. It's bright pink, but it, it's a neutral pattern, okay? Um, here is one of my favorites, and I'm sorry if you, that, that, that last blouse is currently available on Cabbie. This is a year old from Cabbie, and it's one of my favorites. But if you notice, it is two colors. It also features a, fe a you know, a, a pattern that normally I don't go for, and that is a pattern with a lot of space between, say, the flowers. A lot of times, those, those large scale patterns I don't love. This one, again, it's like artwork. It spoke to me and I absolutely love it. A lot of times I wear it under a jacket or I have like a, a V-neck sweater I wear it under. Um, and that's another thing, if you're, if you're not positive you love prints and you're testing the waters, wear it under something like what I have now with a, you know, a cardigan, a jacket, something that can, can lessen the impact of the print if that's what you wanna do, but you don't have to. Okay, so this is a top that I love. Again, it's two colors and it's colors that I love. So look in your closet, and if and, and like I said, it's like a piece of art or a pillow cover. When you look at it, if you think, oh, I love it, it stops my scroll, that's a print you like. And yes, wear it, okay? If you're like, oh, God, I, I had that 10 years ago, it reminds me of my, you know, ex-husband, I don't know, whatever. Um, don't keep it, even if, even if it was a great top back in the day. If it's a print that you don't like anymore, get rid of it. Here's an example of a jacket. Normally I, I normally I lean towards tops with my patterns, but this is another old cabbie jacket that I've kept and will keep for the rest of my life. <laughs> I, sell, I do sell a lot of my cabbie things, but this is a keeper um, and it is a pattern, but it's, it's tight. It's a very tight kind of geographic, not geographic, geometric pattern, <laughs> geographic. Um, and it reads yellow, you know what I mean? It has, it has, I think, green in it and cream, but it reads yellow, so it's a, it's a subtle print. I've worn it, I've done pattern mixing, I've, I've worn this with this, and it looks fabulous. A little shout out to Cabbie. One thing I love about Cabbie is when they design things, they make it so it, it works. You know, the colors are all right, but um, this is a jacket that's in a pattern that I love. And the, the point is, it reads yellow, and it's, it's sort of a, in this case, a tight pattern, which just makes it more versatile. Oh, speaking of versatile, one of the things that this woman, I don't even know her name, and I'm not knocking her. She does great work. The other thing she said, the reason she said to get rid of your prints is she said, because they're too memorable. Um, and I have used that expression. I, I, I know what she means. You know, if you're buying a really expensive cocktail dress, um, and you're, even if it's not expensive, you're buying a cocktail dress, that you, that you want to be able to wear over and over and over and over again. A very memorable pattern might not be your best choice. I think it's a great idea to have a pattern dress in your arsenal, maybe one, because they're fun. They're, sometimes they're more feminine. Here's an example of a, this is an Amazon find from last year that a bunch of people in my groups have. It's just a fun dress. It, it's, it's a pattern, it's a dress. Um, it's memorable, yes. But it's two colors, reads all red, comes in a lot of different patterns. But um, this I've, I wore multiple times last summer. I have the pictures to prove it. If you just go through my Instagram, I would wear it with a jean jacket. I would wear it with a white denim jacket, with like a ivory jacket. I'd wear it belted. I'd wear it unbelted. So, okay, yes, it's memorable. 
But my point is, who cares? If it's not a cocktail dress, you're not going to a fancy party and you don't want to wear that same dress. Oh, here she comes in her same dress at a party. But I tell people all the time, rinse and repeat. When I In my groups, when I see a, you know, a woman with a great outfit that she feels great in and she's, you can tell she just loves it, I'm like, you need to wear that a lot. Maybe not every, every yes, maybe every week. Not every day, obviously. That becomes a Xerox outfit, which is one of my husband's favorite terms. And I've done that before too, worn the exact same thing day, you know, two days in a row for whatever reason. Don't judge. Yes, you can reuse your clothes. Don't have anyone ever tell you you shouldn't rewear even an identical outfit. Of course you're going to do that. But prints, yes, they probably are a little more memorable. So pick prints that you can wear multiple ways. It comes down to that whole rule. But before you buy something, make sure you can wear it multiple ways. You can wear it with all the neutrals in your closet, all your main base neutrals. That's a good rule of thumb. Before you buy a pattern top, let me pick. Let me pick one of my. I have two wilder. Not wild. I have two that are multiple colors. Before you buy a pattern top, think about what your neutrals are. What your base layers are. Your your cardigans, your blazers, your pants. They're generally going to be in a certain neutral family. Whether you're a gray black girl woman or you're more of a tan olive person, generally we fall into one of these camps. I basically have my four pairs of pants that I wear year round, black, white, or at crew, which I personally have been loving lately. Um, black, white, crew, denim, multiple pairs of denim and olive. So before I buy a top, with the exception of olive, I, I make sure that that top will work with all those neutral pants. So here's an example of, and this is old, this I've had from anthropology, probably, f I remember wearing it on a vacation, probably five years old. And it's still a favorite item in my closet. Um, just because if I saw, you know, if I saw a throw pillow in this pattern, I would love it. It's just, it speaks to me. It it's probably reads yellow. Not really. It's multiple colors, but they're all my colors that I love. It's busy. It's memorable. I love it. It makes me happy. I will never get rid of this top. Okay. Um, but I, you don't want to have a closet filled with 15 tops in that kind of genre, okay? Here's another one that I, this I got it, Loft. Again, this must be, some of you have this top. If Amy's on, she has this. This might be five years old. This was from a spring style system, which is my signature program that I run every season. We're doing the spring one right now. We're basically just getting started because of the weather. Um, this was from several spring style systems ago, and I've kept it, and I'm, you know, I'm going to wear it this week. The next time the you know, I'm going to wear a pattern top. I'm going to pull this out because I just, I love the colors. I like the scale of the print. I just like it. I like the style of the shirt, you know, so here's, and, and I would wear it with, I could wear it with black, white, denim, a crew, and a lot of my different jackets. Okay. Um, now think about your accessories too. If you're more of a solid person, maybe you want to add interest with your accessories. Again, that's where scarves come in. Um, I don't, I don't really have any pattern scarves. Um, but they look, they, they can look great if, if it's a pattern that you love and it's in the colors that you love. Um, I have this belt that I haven't worn. I've, I wear it in this, in this time of year with a solid dress. This is a belt like this. Um, I linked one that I found on, if, go to Etsy. Etsy, this I got at Anthropology years ago. Um, they don't have any right now. Um, but a, a, a belt or even a scarf that you can tie around your belt if you're wearing just a simple solid dress or a pair of, or, or a column of cream, you know, a cream or white top and cream or white pants. And you want to wear a jacket and then tie it, add some pattern and color. Do it with your belt, do it with your shoes, whether it's a leopard print or, you know, a, an embroidered shoe can be a fun way to add pattern. And as long as the silhouette of the shoe is current, you're, you know, there's, there's no, no style please. It's going to say your shoes are out of style because they're pattern. Okay. At least I won't, I, you know. So um, now let me share something that is currently available that I, I saw on an influencer, saw on, on um, High Sugar Plum, Casey, Cassie, Casey, Cassie Sugar Plum, who's one of my favorite influencers. If you don't follow her, I think everyone I know follows her. And talk about pattern and color. She does it like no one's business. She is all about pattern and color. And I love her style. No one's telling her to throw all her clothes away, right? 
And she's 50. She just turned 50. She's no spring chicken either. She looks like one. She's beautiful. But she had these pants on and I was like, oh, she had them on in this. And it's a, it's two colors. Red, hers are, are um, pink and red. And, and you know, I'm a blue person. So I got these pants. They are wide leg, but drapey. When you, I'll take a picture and post it. When you put the, put this, these pants on, it almost looks like a maxi skirt, but they are pants. Um, now, you know, they're not going to be great on everyone. I'm not telling everyone to go run out and buy them, but they're an example of a pattern, pretty wild pattern, but it's two colors and it speaks to me. What will I do with, how will I wear this? I will quiet it down by wearing probably just a simple white t-shirt and a denim jacket or a white jacket. Um, I actually have a top that is the same light blue. And I, I would probably wear, I would wear, I might wear that and then quiet all that down with a white denim jacket. Um, but a pattern like this is a great, is fun. If you like fun pants, I know there are a lot of you ladies who like, that's, a, that was one of the categories, optional categories in this, in the current spring style system, fun pants or a fun skirt, fun bottoms. Um, because some of us love that. Now, if you're a, if you're a classic pear shape, for example, where you're very, you know, much smaller on top than on bottom, this is not going to be a great choice unless you love them. Um, and there'd be, there are definitely ways to make it work. And we could talk about that, but you know, technically speaking from a style standpoint, a large print like this on a wide leg pant is going to add volume to your bottom half. And I know a lot of you are saying, why on earth would anyone want to add volume to their bottom half? Well, a lot of times it makes a lot of sense and it can completely add balance to a, to a, a body. Example, if you are a, a classic, an apple and you have, you know, narrow hips and thin legs, and then you're much heavier on top and you're, you have broader, broad shoulders, big boobs, a pant like this, not this exact pair of pants, but a pant, maybe I could call it a pair of fun pants, a pattern pant, maybe with a drawstring like this, or this is elastic waist, so you're, it's easy on your midsection, adds some visual volume to the lower half of your body, which then is going to make the upper half of your body look balanced. The last thing you want to do if you're a classic apple shape is wear like a legging and a tunic which is kind of what you'd see a lot of apples wear over the years because they think they'll say to themselves or someone told them maybe, you know, you have great legs and they usually do. A lot of times they have beautiful thin legs and narrow hips. And so they'll, they're like, well, I'm going to accent, I'm going to accentuate my thin legs and wear leggings or skinny jeans. And then I've got a, I, but I don't like my, I have a heavy, you know, my, I want to you know, minimize my chest, minimize my shoulders, minimize my midsection. So I'm going to wear a tunic because I'm wearing leggings or I'm wearing skinny jeans. I want to have that coverage. So what have they done there? They have, if you just visualize that, I wish I could show pictures. Um, you know what I'm talking about. They're going to have these, these little thin legs and then a big upper body there. It's just going to look like kind of like a lollipop. You know, it's, it's not going to be in proportion. Whereas adding some pattern or color or movement or fullness down below when you when you're that classic apple shape is going to add balance all right so that was a, a set that was a went off on a tangent but talking about my crazy pants but you know don't discount fun pants and you know if 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 you love them they're not out of style you'll see them if cassie sugar plums wearing them you can wear them <laughs> believe me so the moral of my story today is take style advice on the internet, especially when, when it's somebody like I'm doing right now, who's talking to many people. I mean, I don't talk to as many people as some of these, these influencers do. So when they're making a broad, painting the picture with a broad brush or making a huge generalization, take it with a grain of salt. Don't go and, and take it like, well, I, I follow this person. She's an expert. She told me I can't wear this. I got to get rid of it. Or, or, or even worse yet, I'm not going to get rid of it, but I'm going to feel terrible. I'm going to feel like I'm making a mistake when I do wear it. When it probably, it could very well look fantastic on you. Trust your instincts. If you don't trust your instincts, take the mirror selfie. 
not the, not a picture, take a mirror selfie. Get Stand in front of a full length mirror and take a selfie and then look at it and say, do I like this or not? And if you want another set of eyes, that's what I do all day long in my very affordable style system group. Take the picture, send it to the group, put it in the group, completely anonymous. These are all strangers to you and it's completely private. We're not, we're not strangers anymore. We get to know each other, but they're not your, she's not your neighbor, not your sister. It's not anyone you know in real life. And we'll give you our honest opinion. But don't just take blind style advice from the internet, from me or from anywhere or anyone else, all right? And don't throw away all your patterns just because someone told you you have to or give them away or stop wearing them. You know, be smart about it, okay? That's my message. I hope um, that was helpful and I'm glad my internet didn't die. And